everyone. So today I am with my friend Henry and we're going to be talking about a very serious topic. Now I told you in a previous video that I would start talking about social and political issues so I'm going through with my promise there and I'm going to start this whole video type thing about dolphin slaughter. And dolphins are my favorite animals so this is definitely an interesting topic for me, but it's a super sad one. So, in case you didn't know, all around the world there are people who go and slaughter dolphins and the tactics they use are very inhumane and they're very harmful to dolphins and other marine mammals. And so I'm going to start with the biggest one and that would be in Japan. And so these are known as the Kaiji or T-A-I-J-I, -I, not really sure how to pronounce it, but the Tai Chi dolphin hunts, and they occur for about a six month season every year in Japan, and the methods are so cruel, they have to hide what they're doing behind curtains so the public won't see. And this is only a small amount of Japanese people, I'm not saying that every Japanese person is going and killing dolphins, but, and actually even a lot of them don't even realize what's occurring, but in Japan there is this dolphin hunt and it's currently going on right now. The season is about 20 weeks in. If you go on to dolphinproject.com you will find a weekly update on just how many and what type of dolphins are killed within that week. So I'm on the website right now and I'm going to tell you what the weekly update is. And so going to week 20 which actually ended on the 14th, there were 10 slaughtered and 6 captive selection all within just one week. In a total for this whole season, there have been 64 dolphins captured and 270 dolphins killed. And if you want to know more details, there's more on the website. All you have to do is go to dolphinproject.com, go to campaigns, click on the Tai G one, and it'll show you a weekly update option. So what is happening is just actually like just terrible. Like the tortures that they put the dolphins through. So one common question which I had was how are they killing them because a lot of sites say that it's inhumane and I want to know exactly what they did and if you watch The Cove that'll tell you way more information than I can but doing some research online I have found that they use a method called dolphin drive hunting. What it does is it drives dolphins together all in one group using boats and then drives them all into a bay or cove hence why the movie's called The Cove, and so then nets are set up and the dolphins can't escape. And a lot of you would say, oh, why don't you just leap over the net? And that would make sense to you or me, but these dolphins, it's something totally foreign to them and they don't even understand that they can even jump over this net. And even if they know that they can jump over the net, they don't know what's on the other side of that net. It's like some foreign thing, so they're just staying together and that's how they end up getting killed and captured. The Taiji hunts occur from September to around March and they use these drive hunting techniques to kill all these dolphins and it's just so sad. And so the Japanese government, what are they doing? Is this illegal? No. They partake in all of these hunts legally and they have legal permits to do so and it's about 26 fishermen that do so and currently the laws in Japan, they're not very strict about limiting um, the killing or stopping it in general and that's part of the main problem that uh, that people like you and I can work to change. It's not even just an issue about protecting dolphins it's a, or animal rights, which animals should have rights, but it's not even just about that. It's about preserving our humanity and preserving ecosystems and because if if dolphins go extinct or something like that from the extent of killings that occur, which I'm going to get to later, then that's just going to screw up the entire food chain ecosystem and could really mess things up. And people don't quite realize the extent of that. And as I just learned in my AP environmental science class, this is known as tragedy of the commons as people act for short term self gain and then it takes away from the sustainability so other people cannot use it and I will get into how that relates to this whole thing in a little bit but all I'm saying is this isn't just about 
making sure the dolphins don't get hurt. Like, this is about so much more than that. And so how do these uh, fishermen know where to get these dolphins? Well, they've been using the same migratory patterns for thousands, if not millions of years. And so these fishermen have got this down pat where they're going to be. It's really not the fairest of hunts, actually. And it's not humane how they kill them. Actually, it's more humane now than it used to be, but it's still not good. So, what it used to be before the cove was um, filmed and people saw how terrible it is, um, they used to take spears and fishing hooks and drive it into the dolphins and drag their bodies still alive up onto the boats as they thrashed around in their own blood and just suffered an agonizing death. And that was completely terrible. And now, it's they don't do that anymore, which is wonderful. But the methods still are not humane. So what fishermen now do is that they put the dolphins under tarps to prevent filming. Clever people, huh? And so, it's not fully known exactly what they do, but to the extent of the media's knowledge, they push metal rods right behind their blowhole, which... Henry doesn't have a blowhole. This is an, an anatomically incorrect stuffed animal. Anyway, so they push pins, like not pins, they push um, metal rods right behind their blowhole and this is supposed to kill them instantly, or so they claim, but scientists have also reported that sometimes, or a lot of the times at least, this doesn't completely kill them right away and they're still suffering an agonizing death. So it's not a really humane thing to do and these aren't just typical, like, farm animals, which I'm not advocating for killing them either. If you're vegetarian, good for you. And I'm not saying, like, that there shouldn't be animal rights within farms. Not saying that at all. That's a whole other video. What I'm saying, though, is that these are highly intelligent creatures, and they could be the second most intelligent creature on Earth right behind humans, which obviously we're not acting very intelligently by killing them, but that's besides the point. But these are so like highly intelligent, they have a communication system, they have echolocation, amazing migratory patterns, and they can even be used to help solve diseases and illnesses such as diabetes. Yeah, they're looking to dolphins to solve diabetes because they have like their own built-in cure for that, which is super cool. So what I'm saying is that this issue isn't just about dolphin rights, it's about people and ecosystems and our planet and plus if we let other people inhumanely kill dolphins what's next what else are they gonna do like we have to stop this so you may be asking sorry 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 you may be asking why um they kill the dolphins well their official claim is to provide meat to the japanese but what many people don't know is that only a small percentage of Japanese people actually eat the dolphin meat. So you may be wondering now, I'm really sorry Henry, um, you may be wondering now, where is all this meat going? What are, why are they still killing so many? Because, oh, I forgot to tell you just how many that they kill. So, um, before I start in on the why are they killing so many, let me just tell you how much or how many dolphins they're permitted to kill. And so, while there are boundaries set by the Japanese government on how many uh, cetaceans that they are allowed to kill, these limits are extremely high and rarely do they exceed them. Although when they do exceed them, there really isn't much punishment for it. So the Japanese Fisheries Agency authorized for 16,000 almost cetaceans to be killed annually and when the cove was being filmed um, permits were being given to about 23,000 people. That's insane. It's an insane number. Like, that's huge. In the past summer, the Japan Fisheries Agency decided to put up quotas for two new species of dolphins. So that would be the rough-toothed dolphins and the melon-headed whales. Sorry, I'm not laughing at this at all. This is so sad, but the name just makes me giggle a little. So that is a total of nine species that have quotas because there were already seven other species that existed onto the quota list. 
And so, nine species, there are a total of 38 species of dolphins, so that's about roughly one-fourth of the species are allowed to be killed annually, and that's just trash. Plus, I'm pretty sure that's like the only species in the area. I don't know that for sure. Don't take me, like, don't quote me on that one because, um, I didn't do any research on that. I couldn't really find much. So if you would like to do your own research and comment below what you found, that would be super helpful. And I'd also like to note that like the information I'm giving you was found from extensive research online. Obviously, I'm not a scientist. I haven't been to Japan. I haven't firsthand experienced this, but from my research, I have discovered a lot and I'm deciding to use YouTube as a platform to raise awareness for that. Oh, and another fun fact, the Japan Fisheries Agency actually increased the quotas in December of last year. So that's about a month ago. And so that's terrible. Not good at all. So as you can see, there are lots and lots of issues with these quotas and the amount of dolphins killed. And so at, now that I've explained just how many dolphins are killed, let me explain what the reasonings behind the killings are. So, like I said, their main reason that they've stated for killing the dolphins is to provide dolphin meat to the Japanese people and the Japanese government has said that it's part of Japanese culture. And so, there are a couple of issues with this. One, only a small percentage, as I said before, of Japanese people actually um, eat dolphin meat and a lot of dolphin meat is actually mislabeled as whale meat which is much more expensive and seen as more of a delicacy so people are paying for whale meat and instead getting dolphin meat which actually dolphin meat is seen there as being more trashy so I mean I don't know why these things are beautiful but like killing dolphins is terrible so and my other issue with that is there are some cultural things that if they are harmful to others or the environment like I'm sorry but I don't like depending on this kind of cultural um, activities, they, some of them shouldn't be allowed. Like, say someone said it was their culture to go out and kill a bunch of people. Like, no, you can't do that. So I don't think that we should base the Japanese culture, which it isn't even like their culture, but even if it was, if it's harming the dolphins and the environment and negatively impacting our you know, ecosystems, there needs to be more restrictions on that. So also disproving the whole cultural tradition claim would be that this whole thing started only in 1969. So what they're saying is basically a load of crap because that was about 40 to 50 years ago. So I don't think something that started not too long ago, 40, 50 years, is considered a tradition. So kind of just disproves their whole claim here. In addition, if we're looking aside from cruelty, um, the meat from dolphins is actually pretty toxic. It contains loads of mercury, so even if people would love to eat the meat and things like that, the very small amount, it's actually super bad, contains lots of mercury, so that's just another reason why the dolphin killings should end. Now bringing me to my next point about the reasoning, the real reasoning that is, for the dolphin hunts and it is not for meat. So a major reason for these hunts was discovered in 2004 when media was speaking to the Taiji fishermen and they revealed that a big reason that they kill these dolphins is for, drumroll please, pest control. So from a fisherman's perspective, the dolphins eat too much fish and that basically just messes up their whole profits and sales and how many fish that they can sell to the Japanese, so they kill dolphins just to kill them as pests. These highly intelligent creatures are not pests, and they are not even like a an invasive species that's taking over all the fish and killing everything. This is a natural feeding process, and the main reason that these fishermen and Japanese governments are allowing this is because they see the dolphins as a profit killer basically because they're taking away their fish. And so this is a major reason why the Japanese government is still allowing the dolphin killings to occur because they want the dolphins eradicated basically so they can keep the fish 
for themselves, which is super, super selfish. So overfishing is a problem all around the world, and these Japanese fishermen are wrongly blaming dolphins for this problem. The problem is not with dolphins, the problem is with humans, and we as a whole are over-harvesting the oceans, and it's a tragic and terrible thing, which also relates to tragedy of the commons, which is the short-term selfish gain that is received from killing hundreds of fish and dolphins, but in the long term it reduces the sustainability and all of these fish and ecosystems and dolphins could just be wiped completely out. So in the future, we may be out of fish and dolphins. In addition, the quotas, as I mentioned before, that are set by the Japanese Fisheries Agency are extremely controversial. Scientists have continuously argued that the quotas are set way too high, and these quotas aren't even based off any scientific research or checking to see what the population level, sustainability, carrying capacity, any of that. They haven't checked that at all, and so they're basing it off of what they personally want at what they personally want to gain and profit from rather than actual scientific research and making sure that what they're doing is sustainable. And the scientific committee of the International Whaling Commission has actually argued several times that the quotas are set are way too high and the amount of dolphins killed each year are way over the limit to sustain the dolphin species. These quotas are not accurate or helpful at all. But unfortunately, the Japanese government continues to ignore the IWC, the International Whaling Commission, and basically says that they don't have any jurisdiction over their dolphin populations. So basically, it's a big screw you to the scientists who are trying to sustain our ecosystems. Sounds like a great idea, right? Not really. In addition to these problems with the fishermen, it's not only the fishermen who are to blame for the dolphin hunts. We also have the dolphin trainers and dolphinariums at the places that claim to save dolphins to blame. So basically, these dolphinariums send people out to help with these hunts, and to and how do they do this? So they go along on these hunts, and before any of the dolphins are killed, the dolphin trainers go and pick out the prettiest looking dolphins with the least blemishes, and decide to keep them for captivity, and often these are separating mothers from their calves, and by calves, I don't mean the part in your leg, I mean baby dolphins. And the babies are dead because, well, they can't be used in a show, so bye. And then they keep the mothers to be trained and used for the shows, and they also keep any other pretty looking dolphins for their own personal gain. And then after that, what happens to the rest of the dolphins? They're killed. So what they're claiming as saving the dolphins is actually harming them because they're allowing the ugly ones to still be slaughtered. If they were really trying to save the dolphins, they would be out there with protest signs and video cameras to show the world that this is not humane at all, not right. And I'm not saying all dolphinariums are to blame for this. There are plenty that aren't terrible or use the dolphins that they already have to breed them, and so they're bred in captivity, which I'm not a huge fan of the whole captivity because it's not like the regular ocean but they can't put those dolphins that are already in captivity back in the ocean because they will probably die. So I'm saying that those are not necessarily to blame for these new slaughters. The ones that are really to blame are the ones who go out there and take their pick and then let the other ones be killed. Japan alone has over 50 dolphin training and some of the dolphin programs, so they are a huge contributor to this problem and plus they can just get it right out their back door because the Taiji hunts are providing them with all the dolphins that they need. In the last 10 years, the dolphins that are captured in Taiji killings have gone to several countries, including China, Korea, the Ukraine, Russia, Egypt, Iran, Turkey, and the United Arab Emirates, along with Thailand, Saudi Arabia, Taiwan, and the Philippines. U.S. aquariums like SeaWorld no longer participate in capturing these, however, in the past they had done this, which is how they originally got their killer whales, dolphins, things like that. And so this problem is not just an issue in Japan, it is an issue all around the world. It just happens to be that the main problem is in Japan. So around the world there are other issues with the hunting of dolphins. Similar hunts have been conducted in the Faroe Islands along with the Solomon Islands, and they also claim that this is a cultural tradition 
and as we have seen before, this is not necessarily the case and is still not healthy and sustainable to our ecosystems in the oceans. In addition, dolphins and other marine mammals are killed for subsistence purposes in Greenland, Alaska, and Siberia. In addition to the hunting problems, dolphins face being entangled in fishing nets and water pollution. So around the world, dolphins are definitely in serious danger and are at risk for being endangered and going even extinct. So what we can all do is try to change government laws, send a letter to the Japanese government, other governments that partake in these terrible hunts, refuse to buy a ticket to dolphinariums or other aquatic mammal shows that are inhumane to their animals. You can also sign many petitions on websites like dolphinproject.com and there are other sites that do the same thing. You can sign petitions which will also help change laws in Japan and other areas around the world. Another thing that we can do to help dolphins is to reduce the amount of fish that we buy to reduce overfishing, which will also then contribute to the decline of dolphin hunts because the because the fisheries won't be so concerned about the dolphins over hunting the fish and can even put some of those out of business. And one last thing you could do is stop pollution because that is also a major threat to dolphins is water pollution. So we can all do our part to save the dolphins, save the ecosystems, and save our humanity. And I thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you have any other comments or questions, please put it in the comment section down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends so we can raise awareness about the problems with dolphin killings around the world. Thank you guys. Bye.